honor thy father and thy thy forefathers and thy foremothers, that thy days may be long, that thy days may be long on this earthland. Um, honor your father and your mother, so that you may live long in the land. Honor your forefathers and your foremothers, so your days may be long and prosperous on this earth land. Thy Lord, thy God, give it thee. Deuteronomy 11, 21, Exodus 20, 12. They might have changed it to just honor your forefathers and foremothers. I didn't really understand, overstand what that meant. I thought you just had to honor like your elders, your mother, your father, your uncles, cousins, or what have you not realizing that we really have to give homage and honor our elders that came before, before us. I want to thank those who have donated to us recently and have sent us some amazing information that we have been able to put in action here for a lot of those that we are helping globally. I want to thank those that have written to me in such kind words today and the past few days and from the beginning. A huge thank you to all of you who are out there doing all this amazing work, all this amazing research and sharing it with us here as we do the very same. I want to thank um, those that have been diligent in sending us documents that we have been requesting for quite some time and have managed to get overnight. <laughs> I want to thank those that were able to donate to us here today, um, yesterday and prior and in the future to come, um, as we were in turn able to share some of those um, that we received with others who are doing equally, if not more, awesome work globally. And so as we continue to get here, we will continue to share there and everyone will prosper and we'll all move, move, move forward successfully together. Now, all that being said, um, someone shared with me this morning about the fact that New Jersey, remember when I was saying that New Jersey was significant, and then I did this video that New Jersey was actually Jerusalem, and I was trying to remember what was the significance with Jerusalem, and Jerusalem was where Yeshua, Emmanuel, AKA Jesus was supposedly born, right? And then you had Mary, who um, was the mother, and then you had that picture. I was talking about the Da Vinci Code movie. Um, uh, is that what it's called? The da yeah, the Da Vinci Code. And they were looking at one of the significant scenes in that movie was um, Emmanuel Yeshua, aka Jesus, at that table. That that when the the night before or whatever it wasn't the night before, but in the the scriptures when he was at the table with the twelve or thirteen disciples, apostles, what have you. And then they revealed that one of them, Mary, it was Mary Magdalene. Right. Anyways. That um, table, what this this um, other more was explaining in the video that he had shared with me this morning, um, I'm not going to call his name here because he wasn't very um, responsive to me. Oh, Lord, when I wrote him. But anyways, he was sharing that um, this table is significant with something to do with um, the inn in Chancery and something about... Um, Clifford Inn and how these inns were created. And then he went on to explain that they, this particular inn was created in 1342 and how um, the inn um, was in essence, what he's saying is that we have to go back to English law as the heirs to, because um, our inheritance is our birthright. It's our blood birthright, okay? And apparently he was explaining that uh, um, King, the emperor, King, somebody, um, overthrew, um, us Moors at some point. And then you had the King James who created the Bible and all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to put the link to that description below. I couldn't fully hear what he was saying. I got to get, um, some proper, um, speakers here. Anyway, so interesting enough, I was researching what he was saying and, um, he was talking about how we have to go back into this uh, New Jersey and, and he was explaining about the Federal Reserve Bank and how the Federal Reserve has a um, document called um, Federal Reserve Banking, Bookkeeping, Publications and Bookkeeping um, Entries. And in it, it was saying that all money is created um, or the word the, the definition for the word money is actually checks and we create the checks. So hence we are the money, right? 
Now, I was researching um, some of the words, and it was talking about hey penny and trump trumpets and all these different old um, what we used to be called money here in this territory known as Jamaica, right? So my mom and my elders used to talk about trumpets and hay pennies and things that they used to utilize when they were um, doing commerce here when they were little. And I just found it fascinating, their stories as to how they interacted with this and what the trumpets and the hay penny could actually um, acquire for them. But anyways, this particular document, this this bookkeeping entries, Federal Reserve um, thing document was saying that all monies in existence is, is in essence our um, checks or the checks that are, are put through the bank. In other words, the bank has no money, right? So that being said, um, to all agents and authority, Mary, um, Muriel, um, I think her last name is um, Browser, doing business as mayor. I command you to send all to the offices that um, are to um, have these documents, these liens, and to um, contact Daniel Garlic or whoever's in charge over there now in Ontario, Canada, along with Mike Bossier, Bossio, um, doing business as um, one of the constituents in Ontario, Canada, Canaanite land, and have them have everything in order for us. So when we're given edification to speak to them, they line up so we don't have to lean anyone else. Okay. Make sure that this is done to sweet immediately. Um, and we've shared with you all the trusts that were created newly and all of our trusts that were created in the past with the registration numbers. In addition to Ralph and the other agents that we're doing commerce with, um, we require you to send all the um, documents that we've requested to us so we can add those as well to our documents and send those off to you. All right. So now, so to everyone who is out there doing this research, research go and research the um, Federal Reserve um, publications and bookkeeping entries. Um, go and research the um I guess it's the merchants. It would be, it would probably be the merchants, that book on merchants. Um, and also, um, yeah, just to continue on your research guys, because there's some stuff that, um, we need to overstand to figure this thing out a little bit more to all those again, who have done some amazing work and shared with us a huge thank you. And, um, we'll continue to do our stuff here and share 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 like share subscribe thank you again thank you to everybody out there you guys are awesome to us here you have shared with us some amazing stuff that we've been able to run with and help so many others globally and we just want to say thank you thank you for donating to us if you choose to donate to us in the future you can send all to paypal um angie mullings um also known as angelina l landlord connections the mullings at gmail.com. And for you guys who are needing information, writs, affidavits, estoppels, trusts, nationalization information, and where to go to get your stuff um, remedied. Um, and it's not a remedy anymore. It's a birthright, he was saying. And that's what I was kind of saying as well, as well, too. It's your airship status. So go and get your nationality in order. To my sister, I love you. And thank you for visiting here. I really appreciate it. And, um, yeah, like, share, subscribe, you guys have yourself a great day.